Well, hello everyone. Uh, this past Sunday, we were in our second week of Advent, um, walking through the Old Testament book of Habakkuk. Um, so this week we specifically looked at Habakkuk chapter 2, and the, uh, the emotion that we were talking about or dealing with uh, are the emotions of frustration or anger. And so kind of the big ideas this week uh, from the sermon are that, you know, frustration and anger, first of all, they're normal emotions, um, even for the strongest believers. In fact, many times uh, they are appropriate and good and right emotions and responses to a, a corrupt culture in which we live. So we just talked about how as Christians, you know, we long for and hope for uh, the kingdom of God. And so uh, sinful things in our culture, in some ways, they ought, to, they ought to anger us. They ought to frustrate us. And so uh, that was kind of point number one. We talked about how faith is the answer, but it's not always the solution. And so uh, what I mean by that is faith is not a way to manipulate God to get what you want. Uh, faith doesn't make all your problems go away. Uh, one of the, the statements we said was that faith does not make everything okay, but it, faith is a way for you to be okay, even when everything else is not. Uh, and then we just talked a little bit about what, what do you do with your anger and with your frustration. And so um, we just, again, the big idea is to respond the way Habakkuk did. That number one, we bring it to the Lord and we tell him the truth about it, the way Habakkuk did. Uh, number two, we learn to wait patiently on the Lord, which is easier said than done. Um, but learning to just be patient and, and wait on God to act. And then number three, uh, again, to trust in the Lord. Uh, Habakkuk 2.4, which is uh, the very heart of the message of Habakkuk, is that God's people, are, are they should live by faith. And so we said faith begins, it sustains, and it guards our relationship with the Lord. Uh, and so again, faith is kind of the answer that God gives Habakkuk, uh, but it's not always the, the solution doesn't make everything okay. So some questions this week that you can ask in your group. Uh, what was most interesting or encouraging to you this week? Um, what was most challenging? Maybe raise some more questions for you this week. Question number three. So what's the difference in a holy or a righteous sort of anger and a, a selfish kind of anger? All right. Uh, maybe you can give some examples of each. And then, you know, are there times when it's hard to distinguish the difference between a holy and righteous anger or more of a selfish kind of anger? Question number four. Uh, what are some things that tend to anger or frustrate you the most? Uh, would you say they are things that should anger or frustrate you as a believer? In other words, is it a holy or righteous anger that's rooted in sort of a longing for God's kingdom? Um, or would you say, no, those the things that tend to frustrate me are more or more selfish things. Just be honest about that. Question number five. So how do you typically respond when you're angry or frustrated? Um, have you ever responded like Habakkuk, where you, you take it to the Lord and you're just honest, brutally, blatantly honest with God about your anger and frustration? You know, do you feel like God, if you've done that, do you feel like God has ever responded in, a, in any way or, or maybe taught you something in the midst of your anger and your frustration? What lessons did you learn? And then finally, um, one of the things I said was that when life is the most frustrating, that's when you know we need the most faith. And so with that in mind, what are some things that we can do to deepen or grow our faith um, in the midst of our anger and frustration? Uh, what are some things we can do to strengthen that, okay? Um, the action step this week was to just think about what frustrates or angers you. Take that to the Lord this week and tell him the truth about it. Hopefully you've had some time or you will get some time this week to, uh, to do that. Uh, again, uh, I hope y'all are enjoying the, uh, the Advent series. Uh, we look forward to next week. Austin will uh, wrap up Habakkuk chapter 3. Um, and again, then we look forward to seeing you guys at our Christmas Eve services on either the 23rd or the 24th. Hope y'all have a great week.